What is the enchantment of this place that binds together man and earth in such a demanding yet faithful marriage? For over six centuries on these gravelly inclines, man has devoted himself entirely to the cause of greatness. The most ancient of all first growths, Aubryon. Here the often capricious and unpredictable Mother Nature has sworn an oath to a faultless alliance with those who are best able to serve her. They apply themselves, year after year, to extract the perfection from the potential which she provides. Since the 16th century, there has been a succession of owners of this great estate. Eminent figures of their time, people of passion and vision. Due to its auspicious heritage, as well as many technical and commercial innovations, the great wine of Aubryon came to seduce personalities such as Pepys, Locke and Jefferson, centuries before the famous classification of 1855. It was at this time that Chateau Aubryon took its rightful place among the now legendary first growths of Bordeaux. Thus, Aubryon personifies this eternal love affair between man and the earth, a landscape and a state which charmed generations of proprietors and compelled them, seconded by scores of modest, yet enormously able and qualified vintners, to devote their lives to extracting the very best. Thank you. 
in caverns, blanketed by veils of dust, these bottles come of age. The time, the shadows, and the silence of the grottos will eventually bear witness to the release of the subtlest aromas that come to epitomize this wine. Beyond the brilliance of the dazzling crystal, as it first swirls, then flourishes, exposing a complexity of fragrances made of red and blackberries, a harmonious and balanced blend. It is in this timeless, magical instance that the true greatness of this wine is finally revealed, leaving the palate and one's memory marked by a profound elegance, but also by a name, Aubryon. <laughs>